Hi, beautiful. Today, I'm gonna show you my secret weapon to getting the most perfect, gorgeous waves possible on long hair, short hair, and everything in between with little to no effort. Ooh, I love this tool. It's always my little trick to getting waves in a pinch if you're in a rush. So let me show you one of my favorite hair tools and I'll be sharing my tips and tricks on how to use this tool correctly. Here she is. If you have one of these, you're already doing it well. And honestly, I bet you don't know how to exactly use it correctly because I see people sometimes use this on TikTok and I'm like, yes, but no, that's not exactly right. This one that I have is called Babe Waves. That is the one that I usually use, but there are others on the market. I have been using this for so long for so many different things. It makes the job so easy and go by so quick. You can literally wave a person with hair down to here in like 10 minutes or less. But again, nobody seems to use it correctly. And it always comes out with those kind of like chunky, unnatural looking waves, which can be kind of cute sometimes, but often it's like kind of, outdated and kind of ugly, in my opinion. You, on the other hand, I don't know. You might have a different opinion. Wow, I'm getting really aggressive with this today. Oh, Miss Mandy Quinn, hey! You grew a chest, huh? When did that happen, girly? Damn. Okay, we're starting off with long hair. I want to show you exactly how to make your long hair luxurious and wavy looking in literally five minutes. No, I'm gonna, I wasn't gonna, I was gonna say less, but I don't think it's gonna be less than five minutes. That's pretty good. Let's leave it there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to do too much. Let's brush this hair out and let's obviously start off with some product. Cause guys, when you're doing any kind of heat styling, product is completely necessary. We're gonna use some force field heat shield by yours truly. Brad Mondo. And we're gonna get this on this hair. Just a light mist will do. Damn, good, awesome, amazing. That'll add some very light hold to the hair. That way this style lasts. And because her hair is dry and kind of nasty, I'm gonna be using Viper Smoothing Oil. And as you can see, I've already used so much of this one. I literally go through these so fast because I use it for everything and everyone. It's definitely my favorite oil to ever exist, but that's also because I made it. All right, so we're gonna hydrate those ends. We're gonna smooth them out. You can literally see the frizz disappearing. I love that. Um, okay. Hey, great. Hello, Miss Medi Quinn. Come back, miss. One day somebody will invent a tripod stand that actually works well and my life will be forever changed. Thank you in advance to whoever that person's gonna be. Okay, now that you're looking 10 times better, I'm gonna obviously do my trusty halo section. If you don't know what that is already and you don't watch my channel every single day of your life, then like, what are you doing? Thanks, but like literally no thanks because what the hell? I walked into the door today and I really hurt my arm, so yeah, that happened. We have our circle around the head. That is how I do it. Clip that up and this will be our first layer. I know what you're thinking. Like, Brad, how could you use this waver any differently than just like waving your hair with it? Well, there is a technique, ladies and gents. I feel like I need a little bit more of force feel because uh, I don't need your hair to hold the style. So we're gonna start on the back of our hair. Boom, that looks great, awesome. Now we're gonna take our waver and I have mine on 350 degrees. This goes up to like 420, which I don't think is necessary, but to each their own. The lower the heat that you use, the less of a really crimped wave you're gonna get. I want hers to be like medium crimped. I don't want it to be too, too crimped because I feel like that's just kind of an outdated style that I'm not really vibing with anymore. This is a big secret of mine. When you're using a crimper, elevate your hair. You wanna bring the hair up like this and not do it down in place like this. You'll see what the difference is. I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna do this half the way that I see people doing it all the time that I don't like. And then I'll do the other way after. So this is how people usually do it, right? They lay the hair flat, a little one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They crimp the shit. You know? And we get our crimps going, right? Let me finish this piece really quick and I'll show you the results. Okay, that is our first crimp. As you can see, it's very much giving, you know, like wavy woo-woo all the way down to the floor. Now, if we do my technique, I own this, it's copyrighted, Google it. We are going to elevate this section. We're gonna pop that iron on there and we're gonna do the same exact thing. A little iron there, a little iron here. I'm also gonna push up on the hair as I iron to kind of solidify that wave into place and help it set like that as it cools off. As it falls, you're gonna see it get kind of messy looking, right? It's kind of looking a little like, what's going on? This one looks pretty, right? No. Fuck. 
stuff. We're gonna go like this. Once our waves are all done, right? We're gonna go like this. Okay, do you notice the difference going on here? It's hard to see on camera to be honest with you, but let me show you from this angle. This is the first wave, got it, okay. And this is the second. Do you see how much volume we're getting with that second wave because we did that elevation? The elevation with this iron is so important because what it's gonna do is make sure that the waves don't kind of like stick into each other and it's giving this more natural pattern that doesn't completely fit into each other's kind of grooves and it's giving you really nice volume and it's super easy to get volume with this iron. So that is not it though. Let me show you how I like to do the rest of the head and a few more techniques and tricks. Let's take our section over here. Another thing I really like to do is move the hair out of the place it grows from, okay? You see how the hair grows down like that in place? I'm pulling it straight out from the head and forward to make sure I get maximum volume and to make sure the waves are kind of irregular when they're set back down into place. Let's make sure I keep this elevation here as I go down the hair. Bing, bang, boom, and yeah, you look good. Uh, and that is her. Now let's let that set for a second before I rake it out. Let's do the next section. We're gonna over direct it towards the back and we're gonna do the same thing. A good tip is to make sure that these barrels stay really locked into each other. And that's what these handles are for. So you can kind of like push one down and push one up so they become more interlocked. And the more hair you take in this iron at once, the sort of looser of a wave you're gonna get. So if you want really tight waves, I recommend taking a lot less than this. And if you want really loose waves, take a whole bunch of hair at the same time. Great, this is looking beautiful. If your hair looks like this as you go, kind of like weird looking and off a little bit, oh, you're gonna get some gorgeous waves going. This is literally so easy. I just feel like it gives you the most perfect gorgeous waves in the entire world and I just love it and I'm so passionate about it. Okay, so now this next one, I'm going to elevate really high. I want some good volume in the front of her hair because she's a little flat. I'm kind of doing different techniques as I go on the head. This is gonna give her that really natural look that we're looking for and just help her hair look the best it can possibly look. I also find that when you kind of take the hair at a horizontal, like most people do with this iron and just do it up, then that oil really made her hair shiny. Okay, when you go like this, people often kind of miss this entire section up here when they're using this iron and it makes your hair look really flat and really unnatural at the very top. So we're gonna go in and actually bring this up to the root area. And I'm not gonna leave that on too long at the root area because I don't want it too crimped up there or else you're gonna get this really big like bubble at the top. We're gonna move this iron down quick on this strand so we don't get too, too much wave right in the front of her hair. We have that sort of very natural look right at the top of her hair and it looks incredible. All right, this side is done and now I'm going to just rake through it with my hands and we're gonna see this gorgeous wave come alive. Oh yes, see, this is how you do it. Ugh, you see? how? it's not all clumped together like I'm sorry but she looks so pretty if you don't like your hair too poofy I recommend just you know softening it up a little bit with your hands and just pushing it down you can put a little oil in your hands to make it less poofy if you want to but god I love this look I love the way the waves are not clumped together this tool is like foolproof now let me do the entire other side and I'll be back to show you the top um Okay, wow. Other side is done. Let's work on this top section. Let's cut this b in half and let's start crimping. Crimping, is that what we call it? I don't know. Waving? Okay, I'm gonna show you something else. I got so many tricks up my sleeve today. All right, all right. I feel passionate about this thing. We're gonna take this waver sideways. We're gonna elevate the hair and put it on the hair sideways or also known as vertically, okay? Instead of horizontally. Not really sideways, it's vertical. You know, sometimes I don't want exactly hear what comes out of my mouth and then it just happens and then I, later on I pick it up and it, yeah, it's not great. So vertical waves are gonna give you even another different pattern. The great thing about this is the more ways you use this iron on one head, the better these waves are gonna look, I promise you. Okay, so that is this one. See how the waves are more slanted, a little more flat to the head, and you're getting to see that kind of like S wave instead of that kind of bubble wave. Oof, I love it. Let's add more of those on this side. Holding it this way instead of this way, okay? And now we're going with another horizontal. I have another technique to show you. This one's a fun one. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna do this on the top layer of the hair. You're gonna twist the hair very slightly. You're gonna take the hair in vertically and you're gonna keep that hair twist as you iron it. Yeah. God, I have so many tricks up my sleep today. I am just a 
fine. Hey, you're a magician sometimes, dude. Like, what? Where do I come up with this stuff? You're gonna see this get the ultimate natural wave here. Ooh, it already looks so good. Let's let that cool down for a minute though. I'm gonna do that technique on the entire top of her hair. Twist gently and iron. All right, two down, two more to go. And now for the reveal of these waves. Can you imagine what it's gonna look like? Oh. If you want the most natural looking waves with this waver, please do that technique. It is just the perfect thing to top off this look. Like what? It looks like her hair literally just like dries like this naturally. Now the only part that I don't like is this front section. So I'm gonna do the same technique where I just twist the hairs and just give it a little bit of extra something. Sometimes at the end, you just need to take a few hairs at a time and just perfect them. Oh, and one more product, one more product. For the ultimate natural wavy look, we're gonna top it off with some sea salt spray, especially salt and there we have it she looks like a literal real life mermaid that is just so pretty i love hair look at this hair wow Go ow <laughs> you. I've been praising this entire time and you burn me. As you can see, it is dramatically different from those, you know, people that you see online using this waiver. Usually you get this very horizontal line going across. I'm not a huge fan of it. This is the kind of wave that I like to see. And that is how you use that iron really well. Wow. Look at that. Oh my God. That looks stunning. And for this much hair, that took me no time at all and completely transformed her look. Let me just show you a few quick tips on how to do the same thing on short hair and make it look correct. <laughs> this is the behind the scenes. I can never get these things off. <laughs> Please, Miss Maddie Quinn. Your time here is done right now. Uh, <clears throat> got her. Oh, do you recognize her? She lives to see another day. She was in a video a couple weeks ago on how to do a painted money piece. And look how good her hair color looks. Now her haircut, I think she has a wolf cut because I'm a little confused what these layers are. It's a little bit of a mess, but it doesn't matter because we can cover up anything with some good styling. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna put some force field heat shield in there to protect that damn hair. Let's brush her hair out. Let's put a dab of viper smoothing oil in there. These ends are looking a little crusty with the rest of my arms. And if your hair is resistant to holding curl, please use hairspray. Please don't be scared of it. All right, the secret here is getting this iron a little bit less hot. So I'm gonna move this down to 300, 250, depends on your hair type and your hair texture. She holds curl really well. So we don't wanna leave this iron on the hair for too long. We're just gonna do a little oomph, a little oomph. All right, we're gonna do a very light wave on her. When you have shorter hair, the lighter wave makes it look a bit better. Okay, let me elevate this section. We're not holding it on there for too long because with shorter hair, you get a lot of volume back here, you know? Like you get a lot of kind of stacking naturally because your hair is on the shorter side. So you wanna avoid putting in too much wave or too much curl to give it a more modern look. We're doing the more or less the same technique. We're just holding it on the hair for a less amount of time and like, I can just speed through this. I make mistakes, I do. And like that one was held in the hair a little bit too long. So I'm gonna kind of rake it through with my hands and get some of that moisture from my hands into the hair so it doesn't stay like that, right? The more you rake your hands through your hair, the less your hair is gonna stay in place. That style is gonna come out a bit. Already she's looking cool, she's looking sassy, she's looking modern, and she doesn't have too much of a lump on the side of her head from this waver. And that twisting technique also looks so incredible on short hair. I'm gonna do that on the top of this head too and show you the kind of difference it makes. You can also do that technique on the entire head and it'll give you the most natural waves possible. God, I can't stress how easy it is to use this thing, especially like compared to a flat iron. You literally need no practice to understand how to use this. You need a few tips and tricks for for sure, but you can use it so easily. All right, so now I'm in that kind of circle section at the top. I'm gonna start here with my twists. I want the entire top layer twisted. 
Sometimes these take a little bit more time than the rest of the waves because you're trying to get like all the heat into that twist. So you got, might have to leave it on there for a little bit longer. She has super short layers in the top and this twisting technique is gonna really help it so that those layers don't like pop out from her head. Often when you use these irons on really short layering, it just looks absurd. <laughs> to make my wave even smoother and less sort of intensely waved, I'm gonna actually pull it out like this. It's gonna kind of straighten the wave as you pull it. A little tea break. Looks like I'm drinking like pee water. Ooh, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. And that is gorgeous. See that extremely slight wave? Also her layers are a little more disguised looking, but the salty sea salt spray is going to make this come alive at the end. Now even I make mistakes. I don't like the front of this. It's looking a little too clumpy. So we're gonna take these two front pieces up. We are gonna do the last and final special twist. We're gonna twist these like so. Ooh, a little rope braid. Is that what you call these things? I don't know. We're gonna go in there and get that shit nice and hot at an elevation. Put the rest of her hair. Baby, who did your hair? Flip that back, put that hoe in place. Let's get in there with some salty. And here is the final look. I just never get sick of waves. Look at how natural that wave is, especially on this shorter hair. We just ever so slightly put a wave in with that iron and it gives you the most perfect beachy natural look. People will literally think that your hair is naturally like this. And that is the job of so many session stylists for us to make people's hair look naturally waved without actually being naturally wavy. And this is how we do it. This is the easiest technique. She just looks cool and fresh and modern and sexy and I am living for it. Oh yes, did I miss a piece? Probably, that tends to happen. Oh no, it's fine, false alarm. Hot, hot, hot. Thank you, girly. You look fabulous. You're actually one of my favorite mannequins right now. She's my favorite mannequin right now. Like look at that color with that style and like, I can't, I can't handle it. So that is my favorite tool ever. I hope I was able to teach you guys a thing or two, even if you've already known about this tool and have it in your own house. It's pretty amazing. It's so easy to use and it's the best. If you guys wanna check out my hair care line or any of the products used in today's video, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmondohair.com. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.